toxic. Speaking of toxic, did okay. you watch Malcolm and Luke? Yes. Girl. Woo, it reminded me of my relationship. Mm-hmm. I done um, had 99,000 of those arguments. But the difference between like my ex current my ex situation mm-hmm. and Malcolm and Luke, we not sitting up there arguing that long. Mm-hmm. Like that would have never happened. Somebody would have got left. Yeah. Somebody like, would have said you. something so ridiculous that it would have just ended. Like we're not yeah. gonna just I'm not gonna get in the tub, think about some more stuff to argue with right. you about, get off the tub, and now we are going again. It's not gonna happen. But I do respect that because at least they stay mm-hmm. to work out whatever the hell was going on. About. I agree. Because I think so many I'm I'm just speaking from my relationship mm-hmm. and then like my friends. I can't speak for everybody. But I think so many, especially in the black community, we don't know how to communicate. We don't we were not taught how to communicate. We were not taught to express our feelings. I remember some an incident happened with my daughter and her um father and she asked me was it okay for her to communicate the way she felt? And I was like, Of course. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Without being disrespectful, you can you can say how you feel, and I think when we were taught, when we grew up, we were taught to be seen, not heard. Mm-hmm. So we couldn't tell our parents how we felt. Mm-hmm. We couldn't say, "Mom, you hurt my feelings." It was like, "Oh, be quiet." But you don't have an opinion. Um, so I think with the Malcolm and Marie, it taught me a lesson. Like, oh, you have to learn how to take constructive criticism as well. You can't dish. You need to learn if you're gonna dish it out. You have to take it. True. Because a lot of times we could just shit out, but can we really take it? And it hurts our feelings. Yeah. Because I feel like he was trying to break her down. He was trying to break her down, but he also was trying to get her to see, like, this is who you are. Stop mm-hmm. making the funk. Like, you you want this argument. You mm-hmm. want to be debased. You want to be talked mm-hmm. down to and degraded. Like, this is what you like. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the times I feel like both of them go for the jugular. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like in arguments and especially in relationships, people feel the need to go to hurt. the jugular. I want to hurt you so bad you hurt me. me. Yes. And I do that. That's how I'm going to I do it too. And I think I'm toxic. Like, I'll say something to me, and then I'll be like, oh, the next day, oh, I love you so much. I want to be with you. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I mean, I do that. Work on uh, you helping me to work on me. And, oh, that goes also, I'm going to say this too with peace. I think with peace, you learn how to love yourself. Like, Mm -hmm. I never really knew how. I think I'll have, I've always been in a relationship. Like, so I can remember, I've always been in a relationship. If, if I break over one person, I always had an ex that I can go back to. Whether if I should or not, mm-hmm. but I always had an ex that was there, like, oh, Precious single, here she goes. See, me, I always have a setup going. Oh, you have an ex, an <laughs> ex strategy. Yeah. So my last situation, before my last situation, mm-hmm. was like, I, me and him already kind of liking each other, so it's kind of like get out of this relationship and jump into the next one, into the other one, yeah, that's what without I'm having saying. time to figure out why this one didn't work. Yeah, um, and this is like the first time that I do, I didn't have anything. Yeah, I mean, oh, I had something. I'm not even gonna give that the energy, but just know that I had something, and it didn't go well, and it wasn't worth it. So it taught me that something. I'm not even gonna get up into the energy, but that something taught me stop, heal, heal, mm-hmm. heal from your four years that you was with this person, heal and 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 put, you know, get everything off that, mm-hmm. clear that story. Once that story is clear, then if you want to decide to be in a relationship, then go ahead and be in a relationship. Well, how, what do you feel about relationship hoppers? Like, Lord, child. <laughs> Now see, I like to my on Okay, listen, because a lot of people saying Lori Ho, I don't get it. Yeah. Because they was reading this book called Ho Tactics. Mm, maybe and they were that. like, now I ain't trying to be the hoe. <laughs> That's the name of the book. The book's called Ho Tactics. And the shoot fits with. Oh, no, I'm sorry. So it's like a difference between a hoe and a slut. And they were saying hoes mess with guys for certain things. Bags, mm. purses, trips, status. Like, I'm going to mess okay. with this doctor because I want to be in these circles because I want to do this. Okay. A slut is someone who is going from man to man because they need this physical thing. Like, they mm. need sex from every person. I don't think she's either one. I feel mm. like she's doing what us young people should have been doing mm. when we were in our 20s. Like, I agree. She's Trying to figure out what she likes and what she don't like. Yeah. And I actually think that she actually likes Michael B. Jordan. Now, I don't know. Yes. I don't know what her karma looks like. Right, because she can't. I don't know what karma. she was telling Future. I don't know if Future really thought that they was gonna be together or right. she played him or whatever the case may be, but I hope that there's no karma coming back for her because 
She's mm-hmm. posting him. Yeah, and she's and he him. might be just having fun. She might be on some serious yeah. stuff. And not even that, Louis Vuitton just sent them like Lori Harvey and Michael Beijing like a whole purse. I said, Child, well, wait a, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I posted on my story. I had posted like, "Do you think Lori's lucky, mm-hmm. or do you think she's, she's a slut?" Home. I was torn. So, okay, so I'm gonna say this because if that was me, mm-hmm. if I was doing that right now, I feel like I would be like, "Oh, she's a hoe. Mm-hmm. She's a hoe." Because mm-hmm. every time a woman posts a new man every six months, oh, she a hoe. Mm-hmm. But how do you know what I'm doing with that man? How do you know if I'm even sleeping with him? That's true. And I and I hate when people judge because. Sometimes I don't, you don't see what everybody you talk to. I know, I know. I have a lot of male friends and I don't see where everybody I talk to. Um, so I feel like, I feel like what she's doing, I wish I would have done. Yeah. Because, because I'm going to say, I, I feel like I did it, but I didn't do it with like successful people. Well, I mean, it doesn't really, it kind of doesn't. To me, it doesn't matter if you're successful money. or she has not. Money, though. Because I feel like if you mess with someone who's broke and you realize, like, I don't like these characteristics and the mm, person that I'm being with, true. it doesn't really matter. You've learned something from that person. True. But if you just out here fucking, we're not writing nothing. Not like be, that's being a hoe. <laughs> if you out here fucking, that's being a hoe. That's being a slut. That's being a slut. Yeah. Because so, so, yeah, at least get something. If you I don't be a hoe, be a good hoe. I'm going to say this. I think.